What's going on guys, Shake and Bake back, and today we've actually got a dual com with Sub the Gamer. What's going on, Sub? Yo, what up guys? That's TG, Sub the Gamer. What's going on, man? Not much, man, but I figured we had to do a dual com. We've, we had, we've had our uh, differences in the past. I kind of did something that was a little childish, but I think we've both gotten over that, and I wanted to really talk about this because we played a couple of games that were really close. I know you beat me down in one of the first games with <laughs> Igudala. You were dunking all over me. But then in the next game, we played the Bobcats, who I really like as a young upcoming team, against your Chicago Bulls. And that one was really close, man. I, I couldn't believe how good those two teams played against each other. Yeah, man, that game came right down to the wire. I mean, Derrick Rose was so fast. And, yo, you killed it with Kemba Walker, man. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that guy, he he's a beast. I really love the way his shot is. He's really improved. They got him stacked out on 2K14. But I wanted to talk about a few of the game features that you liked. I saw your video on the flashy passing, and you know I like the block dunks. That was one of the things. We had a couple of really nice blocks. And what what is your favorite feature besides probably the passing that, that is new to this? Well, probably the brand new shot stick and the realisticness of the game where the cheesing is gone. So I'm sure you're happy with this too. Especially, like, we love my team, so... Finally, no more Euro Step 3. No, no, no more of that cheese, man. That cheese is gone. I love that. Yeah, that, that was one thing that we noticed. We were testing out everything. We were trying up and unders, and you did, you couldn't even figure out how to do the up and under at one point. I was trying to tell you <laughs> yeah, how. Yeah, that was hard, man. So you could already tell, like, people who are new to this game, they won't be able to abuse that up and under like 2K13. So that's a good sign. Yeah, that is one thing that I really like. I mean, we noticed that the three-point sliders were tuned. It seemed good. It felt fresh. The, the physics aspect that we've all been talking about, how the game, it just seems different where one player contacts another, and it just it flows. It's not like a video game. It seems so realistic now where one player, if he just were to bump into another guy, it causes a chain reaction of events, seems like. I honestly couldn't agree more, dude. I mean, we noticed this thing from the start, just like you said. Everybody noticed this thing. So I'm, I'm very happy that 2K is going more sim, more realistic, and you just, you just can't abuse in that game now. I really love that. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see online because now there is no Euro Step 3. Exactly. The up and under has been tuned. So it's it's going to be interesting to see what's going to be that next thing that they might have to adjust or tune. I really cannot even imagine it. I mean, all the buttons, the controls. What do you what do you think about the controls? I, for one, I like them, but I was kind of frustrated at one point by the alley-oop thing. That was kind of hard to get used to because if you press X and A now, you get some kind of no-look pass thing, which I wasn't ready for. But what did you think about the controls? Were you, were you excited about them or...? I mean, it was definitely really hard to get used to. I mean, like, you know, I'm so used to double tapping X, double tapping B, get an easy Euro step. We really couldn't do that in 2K14. I mean, you got to use that shot stick a lot. So it really does go back to like 2K12, 2K11. So it's definitely different, but I do think we'll get used to it. Yeah, the shot stick is definitely something I'm not used to. I've been playing this game for a while, but I've always been a button guy, even when they introduced the stick. So it's going to be something to get used to. But now we got to move on to the one topic that everyone on my channel and your channel wants to hear about. <laughs> and that's my team. Oh, Everybody yeah. wants to hear about this. Now, they haven't said much. They told us a few things that we're not allowed to talk about just yet. I'm sure at a later date we'll, we'll be able to talk about that. But they did announce that it will be back and better than ever, as they say, with new player modes oh such as God. multiplayer, single player, tournaments, and much more. What do you make of that? I mean, what does that sound like to you? That sounds like competitive gaming, man. I mean tournaments my team tournaments just imagine that when i get from that i feel like maybe you can have tournaments with your friends so maybe you're my team can actually play your friends my team and that sounds so cool because we've been wanting to do something like that for a long time that would be crazy i mean like i know on machinima sports last year you guys and ikc and a couple other of the directors did a big 2k commentator tournament now it seems like you're gonna be able to do that in my team possibly and oh build your own God. brackets i can't even imagine that that would be something so sweet and I, I really like what this says. It's it's back. It's confirmed. There's not much that they've given us, but at least we know it's coming back. Yeah, they're keeping it low-key, man. But I'm telling you, this game mode is going to be insane this year. I'm so hyped up. Yeah, it, it's going to be crazy. We I don't know. Did you see the leaked achievement list and what that was all about? I did see that, man. I'm, I'm not sure if it's confirmed or not, but by what that's saying is maybe challenges in my team now? Yeah, I saw that. There was the complete a full season of one team's games and it said 82 and 0 and i really I, I don't know what that even means i was thinking at one point maybe it meant like 
they would have like maybe you could do my teams with certain all-time like players like all the Celtics players all the Bulls players you have to play a schedule against online people but I have no clue man do you have anything you know about that or you, you think uh, you might honestly, like speculate just like you said the best guess I can go with is maybe playing with an old Bulls team with Jordan and everybody trying to get that record but I have no idea right now but I I'm excited we're all excited yeah. for this it's going to be crazy. I'm sure they've added a ton of new legends. I can't wait till we get more info on this. But for now, unfortunately, that's really all we can say on that. But I did want to say thank you to coming to my channel. It did mean a lot. It means a lot to me. And yeah, it's it's big respect to you, definitely. Dude, much respect to you too, man. Thanks a lot for having me, man. You know we're going to be killing it with those My Team vids, dude. And oh, more vids to wait. come too, dude. Hopefully you know we'll be able down. to actually play each other too. I mean, that would be something nice. That would be a video and a game to see, man. That I can't wait for that. But uh, thank you for coming out, and uh, of course, be sure to check out his channel. Link will be in the description, as always. And let us know what you guys want to hear about going forward in the uh, 2K14 news cycle, I guess we'll say. But uh, definitely be sure to check him out, and uh, of course, thanks for watching. Peace. Take care, guys.